one, um, my one thing I'm showing you how to take off or make your own DIY case. Now you just need the, your case out of the back of your phone. As you can see, it just snaps on and off. Or you can use a regular case. I just the one that was in the back of my phone because yeah, I brought several of these cases that go on the back of your phone. So yeah, I normally do it with that. Or you could use your iPad, the back of your iPad. You can take off the back of your iPad. And all you need to do is just yeah. So how to remove it if you want to change the color? All you need to do is take nail varnish remover, take a cotton wool pad or whatever pad you prefer, and just wipe part of that polish. And make it subtle. You don't use too much glue. I'm gonna get rid of all this like nasty glitter. You can pre-customize your own, and it just makes it pass. So it's just when I, I know there's already nail varnish all over this case, and I'm just gonna be showing you how to recreate your own. Now, just want to take, just want to use nail polish remover on the case, even if it's plain anyway. If it's plain, you want to use nail polish like I'm using. Just get rid of all of those like lumps. I don't know, like you want to use a nail polish remover to get rid of stuff on your case. Um, get rid of anything, all the dirt that was on your case. As you can see, it stains the case. If you use colors like this, it stains the case. I just want to remove all of this glitter. You don't want glitter on your case, you just want a plain, natural case that you can use for substance. To be honest, this case took a long time. It took two days to do. So you just want to take that nail polish remover and just wipe off the case. It's not hard. Don't be harsh on the case because it takes a while for the case to actually pick up the jewels. Um, you want to be rough on the case. You don't want to be harsh on the case. You just want to be at your easy speed, just trying to get off these gems around the case. What you do is you can get it on your carpet. Hey ho, it's a carpet. Who cares about the carpet? You just want to do this across the case just to get rid of... It's getting all my red nail varnish off, as you can see, so... That's a plus. That's a plus. Get your nail varnish off as well. Easy while doing this. Um, as you can see, you can bang around your case a lot. Um, this is what happened. All oh, it will fall off anyway. But if you just painted it and you're painting it again, it's all right. and there is no front case, obviously, because you have just used your back case. You're just using your back case. Obviously, there's gonna be no front case. But you can buy one. This is going to be an actual real process of me taking off um, the um, the um, case glitter. So just bear with me. Um, just do whatever you fancy. This glitter is very hard to get off of. Like you do not want to take nail enamel because you want to use nail enamel because it's easy. It's easy um, to hold the phone, and you, it'll last longer. The thing about nail enamel is that you can't get it off. You have to wait until it rots off or something like that. Because something like this gets hard off. Like it hurts your arms to polish and pull. Um, I actually need a protect. Sorry about this. I sorry about the banging noises and everything. You actually need something to hold your case. See what I mean? It's almost a nice little color like this, but you gotta get it all off. Um, if you wanna keep your case just blank, I don't know why you're watching this video. I wanna just keep the front case blank. This is gonna be one of the best videos of all in my life. Um, <laughs> if you think so, press the dislike button. Uh, <laughs> I hate this case. I hate 
I hate making long videos. I may just sit here taking off nail polish off a case. Let's get most of it off. You know, like mess around with the case a little bit. Push hard on the case, which makes it takes a while to get it off. Um, this is what you end up with. Not all completely off, but I'll be able to get it all off soon. I just, just let me just take my time doing this. Um, you could just watch me do it. I'll chat while doing it and to make it more fun. And I'm gonna end up removing my nail polish after this video. So this case is meant for um people who don't have this. You can't get easy access to phone cases or can't find a case for their phone. This is just an easier way of doing it if you don't have an iPhone. Cause iPhone cases are easy to find. Like you can find any iPhone case which is out there, you know what I mean? Like sorry most of the time I'm not in frame because too busy talking to you. Oh, okay. Um yeah, some cases you cannot find a case for. This is why I'm making the video. Because you can just DIY your very own key. So yeah, this is just me attempting to get all this off. But you can, yeah, I'm just showing you an easy way to get all the case off. Okay, so we're done. I just want to take like a rag or whatever you have, an old t-shirt. I'm just going to go and get an old, quick old t-shirt. I can just wipe it off real quick. Um... I'm just gonna use this old ripped up dress. Can you see? I don't think you can see. Just get off. Just get all the dirt off. Like now your case feels nice and clean and fresh and ready to start decorating. This video I might be stupid and you might be thinking, why are you doing this? So yeah, um just take just keep your nail varnish and your cotton balls in handy. Um You wanna you you wanna choose your front main cover um color. Nail polish. Um I'm choosing this peachy color so I can do polka dots. So you just wanna take this peachy nail color and you wanna paint all the way around the case for the sides so you just want to be careful on where you're painting on the key because it could be hard to get it off you just want to take your time going around the edges you do not want to tip the whole varnish bottle on the case like I'm going to leave your nail varnish in the sun for a little bit so it can reach some heat and it can go soft and wet. So you don't have to wet down your nail varnish. And you're probably wondering how would you have to wet down your nail varnish. Um, your nail your nail varnish will get harder and harder and not soft for you to do polka dots, whatever to do the design. And you, it will just go really thick. And it is to do nice thin layers of polish, nice thin layers of polish to create that look. Um. Oh no! And if that happens, make sure you have a Q-tip in handy or whatever you want to call them, cotton buds in handy, clean away. And then you can just hold your side of your case. You want to do the sides last, then you have somewhere to grip while peeing. Looks a mess, I know. When you're finished, it won't be a mess. 
I get there's a lot of questions asked about this case. Um, my mom asked how you do it. And I say all I do is paint your words all over my face. Okay. Once you got something that's looking like this, you just want to carry on working your way. This is where you want water base, so you can just do driplets. Paint the camera hole. Don't get it all in the speaker because you want me to listen to the recordings. I want me to... You do not do this while your phone is... The, ca the case is on your phone. Like, do not do this. And you just want to wait for the case to dry a little bit so you can use a hair dryer or whatever. And I will be here when the case actually dries. And this wraps up for the first part of this case. Um, so yeah, bye guys.